Well, Lincoln are in the quarterfinals, Burnley. This is my match reaction. It's going to be quick and short. I feel for JB Claret. He was heartbroken. He went to the game. Looking forward to the quarterfinals. And his team just didn't perform like they should have done. So I understand where JB Claret is coming from. I, I am a football support myself of my Gillingham and I have been like that many a times but there's nothing wrong with that that is true passion and you've shown absolutely what the FA Cup's all about as for Sean Dice he totally respected Lincoln City he was a perfect gentleman after the game in the face of that defeat so utter respect for Sean Dice 20 years ago he was in the Chesterfield team they got all the way to Old Trafford and gave Middlesbrough a bit of a scare let's get straight into the game my word I thought Burnley were disgraceful that team they just played like we're gonna win this game no matter what the attitude was wrong Everything about Burnley was wrong. I think Gray had some decent chances to give Burnley the lead. He fluffed his lines on many occasions. You know. And let's just face facts here. Burnley dominated majority of that game and did virtually nothing in front of goal. You know, Lincoln City had to approach the game in a very defensive manner. You know, and you can only say fair play to them. A tactic that actually worked but I just thought watching that match and watching the, the highlights again the attitude of Burnley even before the whistle went the attitude from those Burnley plays from the minute they kicked off till the final whistle was shocking you know they didn't approach the game right and they can't blame Sean Dice because I tell you now Sean Dice was told him that you've got to go out there with a professional attitude respect Lincoln City which Burnley I don't think did and you've got to go out there and play your game or we could be in for an upset so they didn't exactly listen to Sean Dice did they there was controversy, of course, Joey Barn, well, with him, what else do you expect? I was shocked when actually Burnley signed him. I thought he might do the right thing and retire because he's an absolute disgrace. First of all, he gets a little whack, or that the hand comes out, and he's on the ground trying to get the player sent off, acting like he's been elbowed. That's what a fourth official is for. Why haven't we got a video referee that can just go in here and say, book him, give him a yellow card, if not his marching orders. And then there was a bit of kerfuffle in the six yard box. And from nowhere, first Joey Flanagan pushes the Lincoln play, and then suddenly Joey Barton's got involved. The referee's booked Joey Flanagan, rightly so, I think she should have actually sent him off. and nothing for Joey Barton hopefully the referee, the referee that the FA will look at that and maybe give Joey Barton something he's very used to a massive a massive long suspension of maybe the rest of the season as I'm concerned for what Joey Barton did because he was an absolute disgrace as per usual and the goal the goal, where was the thinning? I mean, you got four or five players around a ragged. And he's, he just jumps up and heads Lincoln City into the lead. And one of the players that was facing Riggett just walked, he just backtracks into the goal when he should have been straight, straight up and heading that ball away. Four Burnley players were around ragged, and none of them did anything. And thankfully the goal was given, because for some reason I don't understand. Goal line technology should be available for the FA Cup, but luckily the linesman saw the goal and gave it, because 
that would have been the icing on the cake for a disgraceful game at Turf Moor that that goal wasn't given but luckily it was given and as I said before when you look at the goal just look at how many Burnley players are in a good position to stop him scoring and why there was one the one player can definitely done something he's virtually in the goal when all he had to do was jump up all his might go to the ball head it away problem solved overall I think Burnley should be fined at least a week's wages and out of those wages Burnley Burnley's players should refund all the fans who went to Burnley yesterday every fan who went to Turf Moor deserves a refund as I said a weeks they deserve to all be fined a week's wages and maybe maybe as a token of appreciation to your supporters yeah it's going to cost a lot of money but after that disgraceful performance don't your fans deserve it free season tickets from the Burnley players show your appreciation to your low supporters who did not deserve that disgusting disgraceful performance there you go Burnley there you go show your appreciation to your supporters for the Burnley players to give all the money back and season tickets at the end it's gonna cost Burnley those Burnley plays a lot of money they're all good money they can afford it anyway I'm gonna leave the video there the video there I'll say goodbye and thank you very much for viewing